and don't forget to subscribe. For today's video, I am going to be sharing this eye look with you guys and I am going to be putting the Morphe X James Charles palette to the test. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's very beautiful. It has so many shades and it is pigmented as so if you guys want to see how I created this look and what my thoughts are on this palette, then please continue watching. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pick up this really beautiful color. And that's the one that I'm going to use as my transition shade. I love how pigmented this palette is and everything blended like a dream, like I really loved it. This shade, I feel like, was perfect for my transition area. I know some people would love to go a little lighter, but because of this specific look that I was doing, I decided I need something bold, something that's going to show up. I need to build, but I want something to pop, you know? So I am going to be going back and forth in my crease area and just making sure that everything is blended to perfection and everything is as smooth as it possibly can be. Yeah, possibly can be, really. <laughs> so I am going to just be blending, blending, blending. I didn't want to cut out all of the blending process because let me tell you, we spend lots of time blending our shadows in to make it look perfect. Um, next, I'm going to be picking up this beautiful shade. It's so nice. And I'm going to be placing that on my outer corners. This shade here was one of my favorite shades in the entire palette because it's just so beautiful. It blends like a dream. It is so pigmented and I loved the way it looked on my skin tone. So I decided to take it further and apply it on my lid as well. That's where this look came from because I didn't really know what look I was going for. I was just playing with it and trying to have fun but this shade inspired the entire look so I really love this one so that's why I started putting it further on my lid like on all my lid area so this brush really doesn't allow me to blend so I'm basically just putting it on there like setting it on there and then I'm going in with a blending brush and I am going to start the blending process but as you can see it's not patchy it is really nice and it is smooth which I love Okay, so now I'm going to pick up this little darker shade, and I also really love this one. The pigment is there, but I didn't want to apply too much. I just needed something to make it come together and have like a little more smokiness to the outer corner. So that is all I was doing there. I was trying to build it up and make it look a little more smoky because... I didn't feel like the outer area was dark enough for my liking. So that's all I was doing there. So for this part, I did not notice that I had turned off my camera when I was doing my lower lashes so all I did was wrap that same color around my under eye area and that is why that looks like that now I'm just picking up the lid shade the main shade that I was using on my lid and all I'm gonna do is apply that all over I did not wet my brush with fix plus and this applied so well and it looks beautiful to me 
So I'm going to be applying that all over my lid area. So I decided that I wanted a pop of color. So I just added <laughs> this very beautiful, vibrant shade to the top of my crease. And it just made a world of a difference. I really, really, really love how that turned out. At first I was kind of skeptical, I didn't really want to apply it, but when I did, I was so happy. I was felt, I feel like it really made the look come together for the better. <laughs> so I was very happy about that, as you can see. <laughs> now I'm just applying my brow bone highlight. I am using the Carly Bible palette because that is my favorite. That and the Jaclyn Hill palette are my favorites to highlight. I didn't really find a highlighting shade that I really loved because I wasn't really digging for one in this palette, but I'm pretty sure that I can find one. But this one was the one that I wanted for this specific look. Now, I already popped on my lashes and I'm just going into that darker shade because I want to smoke out the lower lash line and I feel like it's always important to smoke out your lower lash line when you're doing a smoky eye because it just brings everything together your top your your lid is just doing all the work up there and your lower lash line has to match it right so that's why I'm putting that shade all over Now I'm just picking up my pencil brush, which is my favorite pencil brush. This is the only one that doesn't really makes my eyes irritated and it doesn't hurt my eyes. So I really love this one. This is by Morphe. And I'm just going to be blending everything out so that it looks smoky and seamless and just beautiful. Now I'm just going to retouch my face. I am putting on my blush from my e.l.f. palette. This is the one the darker shade there's a light shade and there's a dark shade and this is the dark palette I'm only gonna be putting on my blush I'm gonna highlight my nose with the Carly Bible the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette I really really love the highlights in that palette I am so sad that it's discontinued because I want more so I'm going to be applying my highlight and then I'm going to be applying my lip liner and my lipstick. Okay guys, so this is the final result. I am obsessed. Just let me just put it out there. I am obsessed. I am going to be swatching a few of these shades for you guys so that you can see. Even though I'm pretty sure you've already saw, already seen, you've already seen, <laughs> even though I'm pretty sure you've already seen like hundreds of swatches of this palette somewhere but I'm gonna be swatching a few of them for you because I am obsessed I'm in love I love them so much so this green right here I cannot wait to create another look with this palette just to film using this green look at that beautiful the pigmentation goes on for days look at this one here I am obsessed look at that beautiful beautiful darling <laughs> which which another one should i swatch i love this one right here oh my goodness i'm obsessed which which other shade should i swatch i should do a matte shade which one i should do a matte no, actually, 
I want to swatch this one right here. This one right here. Ooh, that is so soft. What it looks like. That is what it looks like. I'm horrible at swatching, you guys. I'm so sorry. But this palette is stunning. What the shade? I want to swatch this green right here because it's so gorgeous. Look at that. And that is how it looks on my hand. This is what <laughs> the pigmentation looks like on my fingers. Very pigmented. So yeah, I am obsessed with this palette. You will definitely see me using this so much more in the future. So please... So... So please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on the post notification. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.